Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be going over basic animation of vector graphics in Scratch. We've been using bitmap graphics for animation before, but animation is much easier and much smoother when we use SVG graphics. So first things first, let's go over that do now. In the do now, I asked you what you believe this piece of code does. Basically what it does is it switches costumes 34 times. The reason we know it's 34 times is because if you look right here, it says repeat until costume equals 34. So it's gonna wait 0.1 seconds and it's gonna keep on switching costumes starting at number one until it gets to number 34. Once it reaches number 34, it's gonna say, is this real life? For two seconds and let's just play it really quick. You see the character is slowly realizing that it may be alive. Let's get into those costumes. So if you look at the, at the costumes, there's 34 different costumes. Very subtle, the movement. Moves very slowly. All the way up until you get over here. Wow, it does take a while, but it's well worth it because if you take your time with an animation, it will look really smooth. But as you can tell, a very short animation will contain a lot of different costumes. Now, why don't we make a different one just as a demo for the class? So I'm going to hide this one. <clears throat> I'm going to go over here. I'm going to the paintbrush to paint a new one. And let's start with the head of the character. We want to build the whole character completely before we start animating, so let's give him a head. Let's see, well, let's say we go with orange similar to my other one. Now this is the fill and this is the outline. It's gonna have a black outline. You see, I might have to scale it down a little bit. I have my basic face, now I want to start making the eyes. I'm going to play with the colors. Saturation, brightness, and color. So if I go to saturation, I can adjust it. Now I see the whole spectrum of colors right here. I'm just going to go with white because I'm going to make the white part of the eyes first. And then we're going to make the black part of the eyes. I click off. I click on the black of the eye, I mean on, on the circle again. Let's make that pupil. Now it's a little bit hard to see stuff when you're so zoomed out, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to scroll, I'm going to move it into place. Now, I have a couple different options. I can select them both, oh, whoops, let's erase that. Just press delete for that one, or you could always go over here to backspace, I mean not backspace, the back button. Now, I go back here to click, I can select them both, move them around like that, but the only issue is that when I start moving parts, I can move parts individually if I don't group them, so I can like, move this around. If you want to move parts around, I don't recommend grouping, but if you want to move them together and not have them split up, you can basically click on group over here, and now they're stuck together no matter what. I could just always click on ungroup, and it ungroups them, and now I can select them individually. But the eyes, let's keep them grouped for now. Now, I have my eyes. I'm going to move around a little bit. On the screen, I'm going to use my fingers to scroll. I can just simply copy paste to make a copy of this eye. Put my eyes right here. My character has pretty big eyes. If I wanted to, I could erase one. And then I could make these eyes a little bit smaller. Let's say that big. Copy paste. And there are my character's eyes. Now let's make a mouth really quick. Let's give the mouth like a black fill, and maybe we'll give him a red tongue. Let's make another circle. Now 
know if you want, you can actually remove the fill here. Oh, excuse me, the outline. Whoops, you see? Make sure I delete that. I have to click on the arrow to move things. There's my tongue, let's say. Now for the body. Now for the body, it's very important that we start with the torso. And I go over here. Outline, you see it doesn't give you a fill option because it's only outline. So I'm gonna go over here. It's a little thin, so what I can do over here is I can actually go click on it. I can actually modify it, modify it so it's a little bit thicker, maybe 10. Now you see how it's in front of this character? You can actually change the order of things by clicking on these buttons backward and back. You send it back, it goes behind everything. You can also send it forward layers and backward layers. This one sends it back immediately. This one goes through different layers. Think of them as multiple layers and you can arrange them so that it looks right. And in this case, you want it to be behind the face. Okay, so it's a little short. Maybe I gotta make it a little bit longer right here. Maybe that's a little bit too long. Maybe it's still a little long. Now it's time to start making the arms. Maybe we'll make the arms. So there are five and legs. Oh, whoops, see, if you do that accidentally, press undo. You have to make sure you click on the select one right here. So you see select, that lets you select things. Now I'm gonna make the next part of my arm. It's very important that we do this very carefully. I'm gonna click right here. You see right here, sometimes it'll pop up with that. You don't want that, undo that. You wanna have it so that they're separated, and then you're gonna use select. They got them close to each other. The reason you wanna do that is you want the joints. Remember las articulaciones that we talked about last week? We wanna make sure that we're able to rotate along these joints. If you join them together, you'll see, and I'll show you guys later when I'm animating, it will not allow you to move them independently. You want to be able to move the two different parts of the arm. Okay, and let's say maybe we had a couple fingers. And let's say we make those like size two. One. Oh, wait, whoops. Undo. You see that little dot pops up? It's going to try and join them. You don't want to join them. Two and three, let's say. Now I use a select tool to put them here that's not joining them. So you can still move them freely. Now, I'm gonna select these. You see how I highlighted everybody in this group? I'm going to copy them, I'm gonna zoom out, I'm going to paste, and now I'm actually going to flip horizontally, you see? It flips it and mirrored it nicely. Now, the legs. Let's make our legs, let's say five. Give it some space so we have a knee. And now for the shoes. We can have a little bit of fun with shoes. Let's choose a circle to start. And so I'm gonna click on a circle. Let's say we make like, I don't know, Jordans. Let's make them red. And yes, it's just a regular circle right now. But if you look right here, there's a reshape tool. The reshape tool is a lot of fun. It lets you actually add extra dots. And reshape. Existing shapes. And there we have it. Let's select these. I'm going to copy and paste. Now I have a second one. Oh, whoops. 
let's undo that. Copy and paste. Let's flip horizontally. Whoops. There we go. Place them right here. And say we're happy with that, right? Click on here so it resets the zoom. Now let's start animating. Now it's gonna take a while. We're gonna have to duplicate first. And let's say I wanna have this arm start moving. I'm gonna click on it with the select tool. You notice that there's a little arrow down here, a curved arrow. That lets us, lets us rotate. So I'm gonna start rotating ever so slightly. Rotate this one ever so slightly as well. Bring it down. Now, if you wanted to, you could group the fingers. I'm going to leave them off for now. You see from here to here. Maybe move it ever so slightly. I'm going to duplicate this one. What I did there is I selected the fingers and the arm. Duplicate this again. Select them again. Now I'm going a little bit too fast. I should probably be going a little bit slower, but I don't want to have this video take too much of your class time. Duplicate this again. again. So I'm always duplicating the last one because I want to make sure that the costumes are going in order and we're moving in the right order. I copied from up here and it definitely would not look right. Let's see, did I move these? Yes. Duplicate again. Okay, let's take a look at what this looks like. It may not be perfect. I'm gonna control. Well, events first things first, events. Green flag. Control forever. I'm gonna go into looks, next costume. Give it something of a weight from control. Maybe it's 0.1 seconds. And we'll have it start with the first costume. This way we don't have any funkiness when it first starts. Switch to costume one, where are you? Now maybe it was a mistake for me to move that first part of the arm, but the rest of it, for the most part, is pretty smooth. Again, this is just a really quick animation. You guys should take a little bit more time and create a lot more costumes. Remember, the more costumes you have, you have, the better the animation. It's just remember that your movement should be very subtle. And I'm only, only moving this one part, but maybe I want to have the eyes move at the same time. Perhaps I have the legs moving. Now, other options you have if you want to uh, explore animating with graphics that already exists are that you can go over here and you can go and click on where is it choose a sprite we have a bunch of different options several of them already have individual parts so uh, let's just say we use the cat for instance so if you click on the cat you'll see that it's actually made up of all these different parts so you could actually take the cat's arm, angle it, move it a little bit, duplicate this one, angle it, move it a little bit, duplicate this one, angle it, move it a little bit, angle it, And 
and it will give you a decent animation. This is something you could also try out. But I expect at least six different costumes. I mean, not costumes, excuse me. Well, yeah, six costumes, not totally different, but six costumes showing an animation by the end of tomorrow's class. And on Friday, we're going to continue with this and talk about making our animations a little bit more complicated. And if you look at the cat, if you want to play around with it, you see right here, you can actually ungroup it and you can see the different components that make up the cat. Here's the face, here's the smile, here are the eyes. I can actually ungroup the eyes and you see all the individual pieces that make up these animations or costumes rather. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video.